Um, Assalamualaikum everyone. Assalamualaikum everyone. Um, yeah, I know others are watching, so I'm just um, going to give about uh, one to two minutes for others to join, and then we'll commence this um, this session. So because abhi aista se log increase hote ja rahe hain, so just to make this, abhi please apne koi questions na yahan pe dale. Um, like just give me like a, a couple of minutes for others to join and then inshallah we'll commence this session and wa alaikum assalam and hello to everybody i'm like reading the comments uh just sabke aa rahe hain but i think it's just fair agar hum ek do minute de de um for everybody who um for everybody who wants to join This is quite interesting. I've never uh, done a live session before and I'm quite an impulsive person uh, by nature. So I just um, was free. I had some time on my hand right now uh, and I just got done with um, a presentation that uh, I had to give uh, at the Foreign Service Academy uh, regarding FATF, interestingly, and how Pakistan can get out of the gray list. And um, uh, if you want, if you guys want, then uh, I can also share some of the points um that i made in the presentation on my page uh and i i and i listed some of the steps and uh, which pakistan can use in order to get out of the gray list um if some of you could just message and let me know if your jo live session is this automatically going to be uh recorded or is this going to um be something jo auto matlab i have to like click on something in order to record it matlab how does it essentially work because um uh mujhe koi bas messages mein bata de ki ye jo live session hai isko is this automatically recorded or do i have to like click on some setting in order to uh, record it because i want to make it available for people who um uh might not be able to view it right now so koi hai jisko pata ho ke ye live sessions jo hain uh ye so hasan is saying that it will be automatically recorded and displayed as a video on your page kindly abhi please questions na puche but i'm hoping i'm, I'm praying ke ye automatically record ho jaye because i'm not too tech savvy myself so uh, at the get go i hope you're all doing well um and that things are going good um it's i wanted to be able to have a platform where i can interact with you all um and i think that youtube uh, i've been asked many times to do youtube and personally i feel like youtube is just not my forte everybody has their own comfort zone everybody has their own domain but uh, mera ye nahi tha so i thought that if i started a facebook page then i think the facebook page would be the best platform to be able to interact with you all um so uh, i think we have reached a conclusion where i am going to be sharing um different points on how pakistan can extricate itself from fatf um now i think so basically the way that we're going to proceed is aap log mujhe questions puche and uh, i'll start answering them but uh, please aap log bhi chat dekhte jaye because agar kisi ne ekne sawal pucha hai then just wait and let me answer them and then ask your questions rather than bombarding me with a lot of questions because then what will happen is that um i'll miss out on your question and i won't be able to answer it so wakas is saying that i've been facing an issue in reading and writing please address it as you are very good in english so this is um a very uh, generic question ke how can i improve my english and how can i get better dekhiye iska jo chhota sawal and bahut direct uh, jawab jo hai na wo ye hai ke um, essentially aapki jo angrezi hai aur aapki jo skills hai in terms of english wo shuru hoti hain jab aap pehla kadam rakhte hain school ke andar essentially 
जो आपकी स्कूलिंग हुई होती है आपकी ओ लेवल्स आपकी ए लेवल्स हो गई या मेट्रिक एफ हो गया जहाँ पर आप यूनिवर्सिटी जाते हैं वहाँ पर आप कितनी मेहनत करते हैं किस किस्म की अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ आपको मिलती हैं आई अंडरस्टैंड कुछ लोगों को ज़्यादा मिली होती हैं कुछ लोगों को कम मिली होती हैं ऑल ऑफ दीज एड एन टाई इन टू हाउ गुड योर इंग्लिश इज गोइंग टू बी एंड ये अंग्रेजी ऐसी चीज़ है जो मैं कहती हूँ तीन या चार या कुछ महीनों में नहीं सीखी जा सकती राइट बिफोर द सी एस एस एग्जाम एंड जो इशू मैं देखती हूँ स्पेशली वन आई रीड अ लॉट ऑफ द एस एस जो लोग सबमिट करते हैं वो यही होते हैं कि लोगों ने रटी हुई होती है इंग्लिश एंड सो वट द एंड ऑफ डूइंग स्पेशली इन द एस ए की जो आउटलाइन होती है और जो एस ए की जो हेडिंग्स होती हैं आउटलाइन के अंदर उसमें द एंड ऑफ राइटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ वर्ड्स विच डोंट मेक सेंस अ लॉट ऑफ वर्ड्स जिनका मीनिंग उनको खुद नहीं पता होता एंड द एंड ऑफ गिविंग द इम्प्रेशन टू द एग्जामिनर दैट दे आर नॉट वेरी वेल वर्स्ड और कम्फर्टेबल विद इंग्लिश एंड हैव इसेंशली रट ऑफ आइड एंड सो जिस मकसद से आपने वो लफ्ज़ यूज़ किया होता है टू इम्प्रेस द एग्जामिनर वो ही मकसद आप खो बैठते हैं तो मेरी हमेशा हर कैंडिडेट और एस्परेंट से गुजारिश ये होती है कि प्लीज जितनी जितनी सिंपल इंग्लिश हो सकती है ना उतनी सिंपल यूज करें आई यूज वेरी सिंपल इंग्लिश इन माय इन माय एस ए आई डेंट यूज टेक्निकल वर्ड्स आई डेंट यूज डिफिकल्ट जार्गन एट ऑल एंड आई हैव एक्चुअली बीन टोल्ड दैट दोज पीपल हु स्पीक एंड राइट वेल आर एक्चुअली एबल टू डू इट वाइस यूजिंग सिंपल इंग्लिश इट्स एक्चुअली हार्डर टू कन्वे योर सेल्फ इन सिंपलर इंग्लिश दैन इट इज़ टू कन्वे योर सेल्फ इन डिफिकल्ट इंग्लिश सो माई रिकमेंडेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू वुड बी कि जितने सिंपल से सिंपल लव्ज़ हैं स्पेशली अपनी आउटलाइन के अंदर वो यूज़ करें क्योंकि आउटलाइन का इसेंशली मकसद क्या है आउटलाइन का मकसद है दैट यू कन्वे टू द एग्जामिनर योर आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू सो बिकॉज ऑफ डिफिकल्ट इंग्लिश दैट यू आर यूजिंग दैन इट इसेंशली defeats the entire purpose of why you are um, writing the outline and making the headings in the first place jab examiner ko samajh hi nahi aa raha ki aap kya kehna cha rahe hain to phir there is no point of um, there is no point of uh, essentially writing those difficult words in the first place dusri cheez i always played risk free especially jab essay hota hai to essay is it's it's just too risky essentially kuch uh, mere friends abhi wo view kar rahe hain to wo mujhe sath screenshots bhej rahe hain but hi hi to all of them so essentially essay is just too risky dekhiye aap logo ne saalon mahinon taiyari ki hoti hai css ke liye aur end mein aake aapki sari jo mehnat ka jo क्रक्स uh, है जिसमें आप लोग जिसमें आप बेसिकली आपका जो मेहनत जो फल लाएगी वो आपका ऐसे है ऐसे में आप लोग क्यों रिस्क लेते हैं वाई डू यू नॉट प्ले इट सेफ वाई डू यू टेक सच एन इमेंस रिस्क दैट यू एंड अप यूजिंग वैकेबलरी विच इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट यू एंड अप यूजिंग जार्गन विच इज डिफिकल्ट एंड यू एंड अप राइटिंग इन वेरी वेग एंड एबस्ट्रैक्ट वेज एक और पॉइंट विच लीज मी टू माई सेकेंड पॉइंट के लॉट ऑफ पीपल मेक पॉइंट्स इन द हेडिंग एंड आउटलाइन विच आर विच इज जस्ट टू वेग एंड टू एबस्ट्रैक्ट सो आपके जो पॉइंट्स होते हैं आपके आउटलाइन के अंदर दे कॉन्ट जस्ट बी फ्रेजेस दे कॉन्ट जस्ट बी थ्री टू फोर वर्ड्स ठीक है लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस how to get pakistan out of fat or scrape list agar ye topic for instance aata hai then you can't just write um heading they get steps to get out of gray list and then niche koi point aap is tarah likh dein ke um economic coordination and that's it matlab economic coordination amongst whom कौन सी इंस्टीट्यूशन के बीच इकोनॉमिक कोऑर्डिनेशन होनी चाहिए कैसे इकोनॉमिक कोऑर्डिनेशन होनी चाहिए um, किस किस्म की इकोनॉमिक कोऑर्डिनेशन होनी चाहिए इतनी वेग किस्म की बात अगर आप लिखेंगे और इतनी जेनेरिक किस्म की आप बात अगर आप लिखेंगे तो देन एग्जामिनर वोट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वोट यू मेन आर्ग्यूमेंट इज एन आउटलाइन का जो इंटायर पर्पज होता है वो ये होता है दैट द एग्जामिनर शुड बी एबल टू रीड दी आउटलाइन एंड बी एबल टू फिगर आउट वॉट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से विदाउट हैविंग टू ओपन योर एस You have to understand that hundreds, uh, if not th- thousands, actually thousands of people are giving the CSS, and the number is increasing by every year. The number is increasing annually, and because the number is increasing annually, the essay is a compulsory subject, and so the examiner has tons of essays to check. Now, because he has tons of essays to check, your essay needs to stand out, and he simply does not have the time. to invest in each exam whereby he is going to be reading every single word and every single page of the essay that you write he will only be doing so if you have written a stellar outline to aapki jo outline hoti hai na wo basically make or break hota hai aapki entire css journey ka so your outline essentially is where you present your arguments on a silver platter jis tarah mehman aap logon ke ghar aate hain aur aap unko chai serve karte hain usi tarah outline ke zariye aapne examiner ko apna essay serve karna hai aur wo 
ऐसे सिर्फ आप तभी सर्व कर सकते हैं अगर आपका ऐसे बहुत टू द आपके आर्ग्यूमेंट्स आउटलाइन के अंदर बहुत कंसाइज हो लेकिन टू द पॉइंट हो और बहुत जेनेरिक ना हो बहुत वेग ना हो तो काइंडली प्लीज मूव अवे फ्रॉम जेनेरिक हेडिंग्स लाइक सोशो सोशल इकोनॉमिक पॉलिटिकल कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस और इस तरह की बातें बिकॉज एसेंशली ये वो सी एस एस फॉरम का जमाना नहीं है जहां पर आप इस तरह की हेडिंग्स देकर सी एस एस पास कर सकते हैं अब सी एस एस जो है कॉम्पिटिशन बहुत टफ आ गया है सारी नॉलेज जो है सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन जो है वो आजकल ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल है सो पीपल्स पूल ऑफ नॉलेज इज इंक्रीजिंगली एक्सपैंडिंग एंड सी एस एस इज बिकमिंग इंक्रीजिंगली मोर डिफिकल्ट एंड मोर कम्पेटिटिव एंड सो यू रियली हैव टू स्टैंड आउट एंड यू कॉन कंटिन्यू टू रिलाई ऑन बेसिक जेनेरिक टर्म्स एंड टर्मिनोलॉजी जो आप लोगों को लोगों ने बताई होंगी या आप आज से कोई छह सात साल पहले जिसने सी एस एस क्लियर किया होगा उन लोगों ने uh, क्या कहते हैं उन लोगों ने जो अडॉप्ट की होंगी सो योर हेडिंग्स नीड टू बी कैची बट दे ऑल्सो नीड टू बी वेरी वेरी टू द पॉइंट एंड प्लीज ट्राई टू मूव आउट एंड मूव अवे फ्रॉम यूजिंग वर्ड्स विच आर वेरी डिफिकल्ट और ये थूसे डाइट स्ट्रैप और ये सारी क्लिशेड किस्म की बातों से प्लीज दूर आए बिकॉज आई फील लाइक द सी एस एस हैज मूव ऑन एंड इट इज बिकम अ लॉट मोर कम्पेटिटिव दीज डेज दैन इट वॉज बिफोर सो योर अटेम्प्ट ऑल्सो नीड्स टू बी योर आंसर नीड्स टू बी यूनिक इट नीड्स टू स्टैंड आउट इट नीड्स टू बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एवरीबडी एल्स इट नीड्स टू बी मोर देन जस्ट इट नीड्स टू बी मोर देन जस्ट आंसर दैट यू हैव रेटाफाइड फ्रॉम डॉन फॉर इंस्टेंस बिकॉज एवरीबडी एवरी एस्पिरेंट हु इज अपलाइंग फॉर दी एस एस दैट यर इज गोइंग टू बी राइट आंसर फ्रॉम डॉन सो यू हैव टू बी एबल टू स्टैंड आउट फॉरन न्यूज पेपर्स पढ़ें फॉरन जर्नल्स पढ़ें उनके ऑपर्स पढ़ें इंडियन न्यूज पेपर्स के ऑपर्स पढ़ें ट्राई टू फिगर आउट कि वो लोग क्या कहना चाह रहे हैं तो सिमिलरली मलिक वकार अहमद भी कह रहे हैं डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स यूज करने चाहिए ऐसे के अंदर डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स यूज करने से कोशिश करें ना करें बिकॉज आई फील लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग्स ऑफ डिफरेंट वर्ड्स दैट दैट इज बीइंग यूज फॉर इंस्टेंस किसी ने अभी अभी मैं किसी का चेक करी थी तो उन्होंने परस्पेक्टिव की जगह परस्पेक्टिविज्म लिख दिया था हेडिंग के अंदर नाफ यू मेक सच अ कलॉसल मिस्टेक एंड बिकॉज यू डोंट नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द वर्ड perspective and perspectivism then you are essentially going to end up failing your entire css journey to ek mushkil lafz use karne ki zid mein aake do you think is it it's is it worth it to lose the entire effort and all the mehnat that you have been striving towards so it's really it's extremely important ki aap log ap risk free apni attempt kare and uh, try to play it safe acha so now i'm going to start looking other questions and the way that we're going to do this is the when i'm answering a question i i don't look at the chat to agar main answer kar rahi hu koi question to kindly just please wait and let me finish and then ask another question because i can only do one thing at once and so i can't look at the other questions that are coming so um can we explain the exact quotation in our own words i try and recommend people to not use quotations in the css essay i abhor and completely detest quotations i feel every single tom dick and harry uses quotations in the css essay it doesn't help you stand out it doesn't make your essay any different from others aur aapka pata chal raha hota hai ki is candidate ne basically teen se char quotations generic kism ki rati hui hai और वही कोटेशन जो है ना वो हर किस्म के टॉपिक में ठोस रहा है बी एड अ टॉपिक ऑन डेमोक्रेसी ह्यूमन राइट्स और एजुकेशन और वेमेन राइट्स और वट एवर ठीक है ना तो काइंडली ट्राई टू मूव अवे फ्रॉम कोटेशन एंड ट्राई टू राइट एन आंसर विच इज अ लिटल मोर न्यूअंस एंड लिटल मोर वेल रिसर्च दैन सिंपली जस्ट सेंग के महात्मा गांधी सेट दिस एंड ईदी सेट दैट एंड बराक ओबामा सेट दिस सो आई जस्ट फील लाइक के कोटेशन और ये जो जेनेरिक किस्म की हेडलाइंस है हेडिंग्स हैं उनसे आगे आप जाएं लेकिन अपने पॉइंट्स को काइंडली मेक श्योर करें कि बहुत वेग ना हो बहुत एब्स्ट्रैक्ट किस्म के ना हो योर पॉइंट्स आर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स योर और आर्ग्यूमेंट एग्जामिनर आपकी पढ़ के आउटलाइन में इस तरह की होनी चाहिए कि उसको समझ आ जाए कि आप क्या कह रहे हैं विदाउट हैविंग टू ओपन योर एस ठीक है तो आप अपना डमी आउटलाइन बनाएं किसी को पढ़ाएं और उनसे पूछें कि यार ऐसे पढ़े बगैर तुम्हें क्या एग्जैक्टली exactly समझ आ रहा है कि मैं क्या कहना चाह रहा हूं क्या कहना, कहना चाह रही हूं विद ईच पॉइंट बिकॉज अमूमन होता ही है कि अक्सर यू हैव एन आइडिया यू हैव एन आर्ग्यूमेंट इन योर माइंड बट यू आर एंट एबल टू पुट इट ऑन पेपर प्रोसाइसली तो आपको लग रहा होगा जैसे आपने सही बात लाइक like कंप्लीट बात कर दी अपने आर्ग्यूमेंट में आपको वो आर्ग्यूमेंट सेंस बन रही होगी बट सिर्फ आपको बन रही होगी एग्जामिनर को नहीं बन रही होगी बिकॉज एग्जामिनर इज इट इन योर हेड एंड वन द एग्जामिनर इज चेकिंग योर आंसर यू आर एंड स्टैंडिंग देयर विद हिम और हर एक्सप्लेनिंग ईच पॉइंट सो यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट एवरी सिंगल पॉइंट दैट यू आर राइटिंग इन योर आउटलाइन इज सच दैट इट्स एबल टू स्टैंड ऑन इट्स ओन ठीक है विच बेसिकली मीन्स दैट इट शुड नॉट बी डिपेंडिंग और रिलाइंग ऑन एक्सपेंशन ऑन दी एस इन ऑर्डर टू फिगर आउट वट यू ट्राइंग टू से 
आउटलाइन का मकसद क्या है आउटलाइन का मकसद एक टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट्स की तरह भी है और नहीं भी है टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट्स की तरह है बिकॉज इट इसेंशियली गिव्स अ क्विक ओवरव्यू ऑफ एवरीथिंग दैट विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन योर एसे बट इट्स आल्सो नॉट लाइक द टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट्स बिकॉज टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट्स के साथ पेज नंबर्स होते हैं इसेंशियली टेबल ऑफ कॉन्टेंट्स का जो मकसद होता है वो ये होता है टू ट्राई एंड फिगर आउट कि अच्छा फला चीज कहाँ लिखी हुई है इसने ठीक है फला हेडिंग जो है या फला डिस्कशन जो है वो कौन से सफे पे है लेकिन आउटलाइन के अंदर क्योंकि पेज नंबर्स आप लिख नहीं रहे होते तो आउटलाइन के कॉल मकसद ये होता है कि एग्जामिनर को विदाउट हैविंग टू स्पेंड टू मच टाइम रीडिंग योर एस उसको समझ आ जाए कि आपने क्या मेन मेन आर्ग्यूमेंट्स यूज किए हैं क्या आपको टॉपिक आपने सही तरीके से इंटरप्रेट किया या नहीं क्या आपको टॉपिक समझ आया या नहीं आपका स्टांस क्या है या आपकी थीसी स्टेटमेंट क्या है टॉपिक के बारे में आपने जो आर्ग्यूमेंट्स बनाए हैं आर दे इन लाइन विद योर स्टांस और आई हैव यू एंडेड अप एक्चुअली contradicting your own stance because trust me people do that i tell you how they end up doing it because what they do is they say ke um if the question is will pakistan be able to move out of fatus grey list then they'll end up saying that yes pakistan can move out of grey list however it can only do so if blah 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 is fulfilled so you're essentially contradicting yourself because on the one hand you are saying that and by the way whilst i'm talking i'm not looking at the chat window so please try to refrain from writing questions right now just let me finish and then i'll ask um Uh, I'll ask you guys to send more questions. So, when you are giving a stance, do not end up contradicting your own thesis statement by saying yes, this will happen. However, this will only happen if these conditions are fulfilled. You can have recommendations. You can have ways in which something can be fulfilled in a better manner or in a quicker manner. But if you are saying that something can only be fulfilled if this and this happens, so what you are saying essentially is that no, this will not happen unless these these certain conditions are fulfilled. सो यू आर एक्चुअली कॉन्ट्रोडिक्टिंग योर सेल्फ क्योंकि शुरू में आप कह रहे हो कि हाँ ये चीज हो सकती है लेकिन बाद में आप कह रहे हो कि नहीं ये चीज तभी होगी अगर ये ये चीजें होंगी कीप इट सिंपल प्ले इट सेफ अवॉइड टेकिंग सच इमेंस रिस्क एंड इफ द आस्किंग यू समथिंग कैन हैपन और नॉट देन जस्ट से यस और नो एंड देन गिव रीजन एज टू वाई यू थिंक दिस विल हैपन अनदर टिप ऑफ माइंड टू पीपल ऑलवेज एज कि अपनी थीसी स्टेटमेंट के अंदर हमेशा प्लक आउट आर्ग्यूमेंट्स फ्रॉम योर आउटलाइन पर a couple of strongest arguments that you have in your outline and add them in your thesis statement in order to augment your thesis statement in order to make your thesis statement better in order to make it less vague because people end up writing very vague very generic thesis statements which essentially don't hold theek hai or throughout your thesis statement should be imperative that your stance or your opinion on something should become very visible and very clear acha um i'm going to start looking at some other questions uh fsp or pass which is one is better so my decision to give foreign service was met with a lot of frowns and questions and people were asking me ke you know what made you make this decision considering that most people tend to go for pass or police and interestingly during my own um fpsc interview uh the chairman himself said that um Hi Sadam how are you so a batchmate of mine is watching <laughs> a very good friend of mine is watching so hi i'm glad you're listening he's one of the he's also my batchmate uh, abhi he's in pass and he's also one of the few people who said that you are making a colossal mistake and you shouldn't go in fsp so um so my, during my interview jo tha uska um css ka तो उसमें द चेयरमैन बेसिकली सेट के आई डोंट थिंक दैट यू आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म एज वेल इन फॉरेन सर्विस एज यू वर इन पुलिस एंड आई एम गिविंग यू अनदर ऑप्शन ही गेव मी माय फॉर्म बैक एंड ही सेट दैट आप काइंडली इसको दोबारा फिल करें एंड आई सजेस्ट दैट यू गिव पुलिस एज योर फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस बिकॉज मैंने फॉरन सर्विस एज फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस दी थी और डी और पुलिस को मैंने लास्ट और सेकेंड लास्ट पर रखी थी I know very unconventional, but उस वक्त आई ऑब्वियसली थॉट फॉर लाइक अ सेकेंड और टू के वॉट शुड आई डू वॉट शुड आई डू दैन आई रियलाइज नहीं इफ आई इफ आई मेड अ डिसीजन दैन आई नीड टू स्टिक टू इट बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट इंटेग्रिटी इज अबाउट सो आई स्टार्क विथ फॉरन सर्विस एंड आई एसेंशली थिंक दैट दिस इज नॉट समथिंग दैट यू नो वन शुड decide on the basis of what others are doing or decide on the basis of what is popular because popularity tends to shift from one decision to another or from one group to another it should essentially be about what you want out of life now what i wanted out of life essentially was uh, to travel a lot to see the world um 
um i like i have lived abroad for a considerable amount of time around 4 or 5 years of my life so i also wanted to continue to have some um experience living abroad on my own perhaps with the family later on and um foreign policy itself devising foreign policy being part of foreign policy getting to interact with different cultures all of this was something that really attracted me um especially considering that i was working in the ngo sector prior to giving the css exam uh, i i was privately previously working for a climate uh, an ngo that dealt with climate change or uske baad i started with an ngo with dealt with microfinance so i got to i used to meet a lot of um diplomats from different countries i used to meet diplomats from our countries and i got to see just how much sway they have i got to um um i applied to work at the un uh, many times um or mujhe mostly un se ek do baar to rejection i think there was shortlisting hui thi so i realized ke you know if you really if since my inclination is towards research writing debating meeting people having a social life traveling around the world and if people aspire for the un then why shouldn't i aspire for something even bigger uh and, and in a way in which i can also give back to my country and for me foreign service made a lot of lot of sense um also i have had some experience with the foreign service primarily because my father is a retired naval officer so there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of people who say ke nahi she's a she's a daughter of a bureaucrat or a career uh, a diplomat that is absolutely not true my father is a retired naval officer and uh, during his tenure in the pakistan navy he was posted as the defense attache uh, at our embassy in london during which time um i i i was i we spent around 3 years in london um and my father observed in the uh, foreign service obviously as part went as part of the foreign service um but as a defense attache over there and maliha lodi was the ambassador at that time uh in london and um i got to interact with her i got to meet her closely and she became a family friend of ours so i got to personally see the power and the role that people have in terms of deciding pakistan's relations and how individuals can actually make a difference and it's not just about institutions but it's also about individuals who can make a difference when it comes to uh devising our ties with other countries and so i thought that this and also i saw i got to see a lot of the glamorous side of foreign service um you know not be not having to pay taxes having a diplomatic card having diplomatic immunity getting free um houses and traveling and all of these extra perks and privileges all the social dining and events that are happening so my parents got to meet um the prime minister of uk they got to meet the queen they got to go to buckingham palace they got to meet different princes and princesses and uh, my father used to meet members of the american um government such as condoleezza rice on a very regular basis so i got to see the the perks and the high life of the foreign service essentially and this is then i just became a lot more uh, gravitated towards uh, going for it but everybody has different aspirations i'm married to a batchmate of mine who's um who is currently uh, an assistant commissioner in the inland revenue service and um he you know he himself doesn't he doesn't see himself in the foreign service and that's perfectly fine because everybody has their own aspirations some people want to stay in pakistan some people want to move about some people want different things and i think that what matters really is whether or not how aware you are and how self actualized you are in terms of what it is that you want out of your life and how different groups uh, whether or not different groups serve your personal interests or not uh, and i think at the end of the day it really just boils down to your own um, your own personal inclinations अच्छा जी लेट मी सी डायग्राम्स आर द प्रिसाइस वे टू मेक एग्जाम अंडरस्टैंड एंड आई कैन एक्सप्लेन हिम माई व्यूज इजिली एंड ग्राफ्स सो आई डेंट मेक एनी ड्राफ्ट और एनी डायग्राम्स इन माई पेपर्स असाइड फ्रॉम जनरल साइंस में मैंने एक बार सिर्फ बायो का सेक्शन था आई थिंक द क्वेश्चन वॉज के वट हैपन्स टू अ पीस ऑफ फूड वन यू पुट इट इन योर माउथ इन अ गोज थ्रू योर सॉफ्ट गज टू द स्टमक एंड मैंने थोड़ी सी लाइक फ्लो चार्ट सा बनाया था उस क्वेश्चन के लिए सोट ऑफ एक्सप्लेन करने के लिए कि फूड किस तरह मूव करता है फ्रॉम द द माउथ टू द सॉफिकस ब्ला 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 बट दैट्स अबाउट इट उसके अलावा आई डेंट मेक एनी डायग्राम्स एंड आई डेंट मेक एनी ग्राफ्स एंड आई लॉट ऑफ पीपल आई नो डेंट ईदर सो इट्स परफेक्टली फाइन इफ यू डोंट डू दैट अच्छा जी any tips for gpp the gpp is a very difficult subject um i personally did not get to come across any books um and i literally bought all the books that are available in store but i didn't get to come across any books jisme gpp ke bare mein uh, mujhe comprehensively answers or solutions mile so what i did was 
I looked at, um, I essentially looked at every topic. I Googled every topic individually. Um, and then what I did was I made notes and I, got, and I looked at a lot of the policy papers from World Bank itself or what World Bank's recommendations for Pakistan were and then different models of how policies are made and it was a very tiresome process but essentially I think GPP ka best way to you just take the syllabus out, Google each topic individually, um, write PDF after you are done Googling the topic name, PDF se result hota ke jo search result aayenge wo mostly research papers aayenge or answers aayenge. So uh, that will be more relevant rather than just articles on random websites. Um, how can we summarize the entire preparation in this month as CSS is just around the corner? Please suggest a strategy. I remember around this time I was just revising my notes like crazy. I wasn't wasting time giving mocks or writing mock answers. But what I was doing was just I had compiled all my notes by then. Um, but I did my, my CSS attempt was very different in the sense that uh, essay ko maine kaafi halka liya tha in the, in the sense that mujhe tha ki jo bhi main prep kar rahi hu um, in terms of um, my optionals and my compulsory subjects wo in any case mujhe essay mein help karenge um, so i really didn't have to expend extra time doing the essay to mujhe essay mein mera time kaafi bachat ho gayi thi i didn't write like practice essays or stuff and um, Paper 2 ke liye bhi jo synonyms or antonyms hote hain, wo maine ratte nahi the because I thought to myself ke dunia mein jitne bhi synonyms or antonyms or cheeze mein learn kar loongi, idioms learn kar loongi, what are the chances ke wohi idiom us din exam wale din aayega, to the chances of that are very slim. ठीक है, so I thought that instead of wasting my time ratifying vocabulary list or SAT list or वो जो भी GRE vocab list होती है, idioms and all of those, not knowing इसमें से कौन सा आएगा because there's so many, I'd rather spend my time on things that I know for a fact will come like Paul Simon, different constitutions वगैरह होते हैं, so my tip is कि just figure out what subjects require how much time for me Islam math required a lot of time, political science required a lot of time, so around this time I was revising Islam I was revising political science. Um, gender ke liye maine alag se koi itni mehnet nahi ki thi. I just went over uh, names of notable women who had made an impact both pre-partition and post-partition and then till now. Uh, different uh, women only organizations that have had a role and I went over the diff uh, different theories jo hai gender ki. Wo maine google kar li thi. And then I used a lot of theories from sociology in my gender answer is, gender ke answers as well which I feel really helps. And um, sociology ke liye bhi, um, Jahangir World Times ki jo patli se sociology ki book hai, A-levels ki jo sociology ki book hai, and then obviously just googling everything topic wise uh, really helped me as well. Or uh, uske lava, so gender ki theories mein kafi sociology mein daali, or sociology ki theories mein kafi gender mein daali, but gender and sociology and GPP are subjects in pe mein zyada time nahi lagaya tha, maybe two to three days per, uh, per these, for these subjects. So two to three days for gender, two to three days for um, um, sociology and maybe four to five days for GPP because I had to search for notes and find time. Laga tha. But obviously, I had a tip di gayi thi, and I think that's absolutely true. That the CSS exam wale din, when you sit down on the table, you have to attempt four questions in front of you. In that case, always, always one question will come that you won't get. That you have to on the spot at attempt karna hoga. Because the syllabus is so expansive, it's so vast, that it's just not, I feel, humanly possible to be able to say that, okay, I've covered the entire syllabus and now I am 100% ready for the exam. Because I feel like no matter what, you are never 100% 100% ready for the exam and that is absolutely fine so you should have the ability or the general knowledge to be able to um, BS on the spot essentially and make, make stuff up on the spot and write on the spot that you should have the ability and not be afraid of it some people are afraid of it oh my god panic oh my god I don't have an answer I don't have an answer I don't have an answer just now for instance I hadn't studied um, SEO with respect to Pakistan no question aga. then I thought okay, chha, at the end of the day the regional body so it's not going to be any benefit it's not going to be the same generically regional body ke ho sakte with respect to South Asia so just made stuff up on the spot GPP may be 18th amendment tha, I made stuff up on the spot because Unless it's something very specific like the decentralization model of Kerala, which you have to again Google and find the notes for. Uske lava kafi generic baate hain bureaucracy ke upar, governance ke upar, policy making ke issues ke upar, jo aap randomly Google kar sakte ho, common sense se bhi jawab de sakte ho. So I feel like common sense will get you very far. Someone asked if making a thesis statement is compulsory in the outline. I feel like 
you should write a thesis statement in the outline especially if it's an argumentative essay then you absolutely have to write a thesis statement because on the get-go the examiner should be able to tell um what your stance on the topic is and whether or not you have understood the topic correctly or not so there are many topics jo जो लोग मार खा जाते हैं अक्सर वो इसी चीज के ऊपर होता है कि आप लोग टॉपिक देखते हैं या हम लोग हम सब आई एम ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ दिस हम लोग टॉपिक देखते हैं और हम लोग उस टॉपिक की फर्स्ट रीडिंग में प्रिज्यूम करते हैं दैट अ टॉपिक मीन समथिंग व्हिच इट डजेंट सो फॉर इंस्टेंस एक एग्जाम्पल ये है कि एंड जस्टिफाइज द मीन्स या मीन्स जस्टिफाइज द एंड ये दोनों आ चुके हैं टॉपिक्स एंड पीपल यूज टू गेट वेरी कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन बोथ सो एंड जस्टिफाइज द मीन्स एंड देन मीन्स जस्टिफाइज द एंड में कन्फ्यूज हो जाते थे कि वट मीन्स वट and justifies the means essentially means ke i don't know if somebody will be able to answer i'm just curious if somebody will be able to tell over here mm khair anyway and justifies the means basically means ke it's a machiavellian concept um just make as long as your end is noble and ethical and moral it's whatever means you adopt in order to reach that end are fine i mean obviously you have to construe uh, your examples उधर से एंड माई मेरी रिकमेंडेशन हमेशा ही होती है कि इफ यू आर सिटिंग ऑन द टेबल दैट डे एंड यू नॉट श्योर ऑफ वट एग्जाम्पल्स टू राइट एंड वे योर आर्ग्यूमेंट शुड भी फॉर्मुलेटेड फ्राम दैन वट यू कैन डू इज फॉर इंस्टेंस ट्राई टू थिंक ऑफ योर फाइव ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट्स एंड ट्राई टू थिंक ऑफ एटलीस्ट वन आर्ग्यूमेंट पर सब्जेक्ट सो ट्राई टू कम अप विद विद एन आर्ग्यूमेंट फ्राम आई आर और फ्रॉम पॉल साई ट्राई टू कम अप विद एन आर्ग्यूमेंट फ्राम आई लॉ ट्राई टू कम अप विद एन आर्ग्यूमेंट फ्राम सोशियोलॉजी और गवर्नेंस इन सारे सब्जेक्ट्स में थीरीज होती हैं इन सारे सब्जेक्ट्स में फिलोसफर्स की बातें होती हैं डिफरेंट वर्ल्ड फैक्ट्स होते हैं दुनिया में क्या हुआ होता है यहाँ यहीं से आपने अपने आर्ग्यूमेंट्स प्लग करनी होती हैं और यहीं से ही आपने Essentially अपनी argument बनानी होती है तो you have to look at what's happening around the world and then uh, be able to apply it to the given stance or the given um, given opinion that's that's given on the topic उस वक्त and that is basically your critical reasoning skills and your ability to analyze something critically that they are looking for एक और जो issue है for instance classrooms define the future of the nation अच्छा अब ये लोग पढ़ते हैं एंड इमीडिएटली नाइन पॉइंट नाइन टाइम्स आउट ऑफ टेन आई वुड से इमीडिएटली आप लोग ऐसे को फर्स्ट रीडिंग में पढ़ के प्रिज्यूम कर लेते हैं आपका जो प्री कंसीव नोशन होते हैं ना देख के कैन और आप लोग प्रिज्यूम करते हैं कि ओके क्लासरूम्स का लफ्ज आया है फ्यूचर ऑफ द नेशन का लफ्ज आया ओके सो दिस टॉपिक इज अबाउट एन एजुकेशन सो लेट मी वैक्स ए लोकवेंट और राइट एन एंटायर एस ए ऑन the benefits of education and how the what the impact of education is on a society and how society can progress as a result of education which is absolutely not true because this topic essentially was specifically about classrooms not about education overall and this was about k this wasn't just about k um because education can be given outside of classrooms to it you can have education through um home schooling you can have education through in the internet there are different ways of making education of having or receiving education outside of the purview of a classroom so essentially this was a debate between formal and informal means of education and you had to expound upon how formal means of education through classrooms classrooms ke kya wo fawaid hain kya wo features hain jo unique hain which enable um uh, society to progress and you don't just have to talk about random benefits but you but uh, the topic is it defines the future of a nation so you have to be very specific and you have to talk about grand things because you are talking about the future of a nation so it has to be like big changes and you can give examples of countries you can give examples of countries um you are my fave tweeple okay thank you so much uh, i don't know if minhaj is watching or not i'm not sure because he has his own training going on in lahore but if he is then minhaj we have a fan so um in uh, essentially um i have i tend to get distracted very quickly so i've completely forgotten what i was saying um what was i saying ha huh, classrooms find the future of the nation so essentially you talk about the benefits um of classroom the different features of classrooms and how those features feed into bringing about a tangible concrete change in society and you can talk about these changes in society by talking about for instance um different countries in the world using different countries as case uh, as case studies and seeing how um tangible changes have taken place in different societies as a result of classrooms and 
someone is saying our headings important so headings are important only um for every subject aside from the essay you don't ha include any headings in the essay um and i this was something that i wasn't aware of either so mujhe bhi ye baat end mein bilkul pata chali thi ki essay ke andar headings nahi banate but yes baki subjects ke andar like park and current affairs and islamiyat and um, ir wagaira ke liye of course you have to make headings but baki subjects ke liye no you're not supposed to make headings पोलिटिकल साइंस बुक्स आई थिंक मैंने ऑलरेडी एड की हुई है उसके अंदर अपने उस पेज के ऊपर सो आई थिंक दैट्स ऑलरेडी कवर्ड एबस्ट्रैक्ट एस ए और आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव एस ए वट यू प्रिफर सो आई डोंट नो वट यू मीन बाई एन एबस्ट्रैक्ट एस ए अलॉट ऑफ टाइम्स एबस्ट्रैक्ट कोटेशन टेंड टू बी आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव एस एस मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स एक्चुअली I attempted the social media wala topic because I think that do you know why most people failed in the tourism essay in 2020 yeah roha if you could just write the topic tourism wala topic i'll explain why most people failed it because i need to know the exact wording and i'm forgetting it uh, and i don't have my laptop in front of me right now so if you could just write the exact wording of the 2020 essay i'll explain exactly kyun logo ne fail kiya tha i know why um it's failed Uh, I'm just trying to see more comments ताकि मैं एक ही इकट्ठे reply करूँ अच्छा I don't know why someone saying सर मैं नाज विद अ मंकी वो वॉट इज सर मै नाज टू अच्छा आई जस्ट कैन वेट ऑन फॉर रोहा टू और एनी ऑफ यू टू टेल मी की एग्जैक्ट वो क्या आता है आई थिंक इट वॉज प्रमोटिंग टूरिज्म इन पाकिस्तान प्रॉस्पेक्ट्स एंड चैलेंज इस तरह का कुछ था बट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट हैव ओके सो खैर सो प्रमोटिंग टूरिज्म इन पाकिस्तान प्रॉस्पेक्स एंड चैलेंजेस वाई डिड मोस्ट पीपल फेल दिस एस एज प्राइमरीली बिकॉज दे इग्नोर द वर्ड प्रमोटिंग दे जस्ट लुक एट टूरिज्म एंड दे लिस्ट द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड द चैलेंजेस ऑफ टूरिज्म इन पाकिस्तान यू डिन हैव टू राइट अबाउट थिंग्स लाइक इकोनॉमिकली हम कितना प्रोग्रेस करेंगे पॉवर्टी हमारी लिविएट होगी एम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट हमारी बढ़ेगी सॉफ्ट इमेज हमारे मुल्क की बढ़ेगी ब्ला 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 ठीक है दीज आर एंड द रीजन्स दैट वर आस्ट इन दिस एस ए यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट प्रमोशन ऑफ टूरिज्म कि अभी क्या प्रॉस्पेक्ट्स हैं यानी अभी क्या अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं जिस जो को जो हम यूटिलाइज या हार्डनेस कर सकते हैं इन ऑर्डर टू प्रमोट टूरिज्म सही है सो सोशल मीडिया चैनल्स कितने अवेलेबल हैं पाकिस्तान कितने रीजनल ब्लॉक्स का सिग्नेटरी है या मेंबर है हमारी फॉरन सर्विस के मिशन को कितना काम है कितना प्रोग्रेसिवली काम कर रहे हैं कितना एक्टिवली काम कर रहे हैं एज फार एज प्रमोशन ऑफ टूरिज्म इज कंसर्न सो पाकिस्तान में क्या वो फैक्टर्स अवेलेबल हैं जो फॉर इंस्टेंस एक आउटसाइडर हार्डनेस कर सकता है यूटिलाइज कर सकता है इन ऑर्डर टू बी एबल टू इन ऑर्डर टू बी एबल टू प्रमोट टूरिज्म सो पीपल फॉर गॉट द वर्ल्ड प्रमोशन ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड दे जस्ट फोकस ऑन बेनिफिट्स ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड दैट इज वाई लॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड अप फीलिंग सो आई डोंट नो वाई ये कोई कंसेप्शन है एंड पीपल कीप आस्किंग I did not give the CSS in 2020. खुदा का खौफ करें आई एम डन विद दिस चैप्टर इन माई लाइफ एंड आई गेव द एग्जाम एक ही बार दिस वॉज माई फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट अटैम्प्ट अलहमदुल्ला करें इन शाह टच वर्ड बट नो आई डेंट गिव द एग्जाम एंड आई आई गॉट अ फ्यू कॉमेंट्स ऑन दिस पेज एंड आई गॉट अ फ्यू कॉमेंट्स ऑन ट्विटर एज वेल एंड आई थिंक दस पॉब्ली स्पर्ड बाई द फैक्ट दैट वन पीपल हर्ट दैट आई गॉट मैरिड they presume that uh, my husband because he's not in the foreign service so now it's going to be difficult for me to stay in the foreign service and so now i will presumably change but uh, no aisa kuch bhi nahi hai alhamdulillah i have a very supportive partner and uh, something that you need to be aware of is the fact that even if you are both in the same service so for instance even if both of you are in dmg or police or customs or whatever um or if both of you are in, are in services which are pakistan based chances of you being in the same city post being posted in the same city chances of you living the uh, a normal married life in the sense of staying together all the time are very slim and very few and far in between primarily because is tarah nahi hota chances are that your husband might be posted in one city you might be posted in one another city etc so if two people are csps and there are a couple then you have to resign yourself with the fact that you will probably not be spending a huge chunk of your life together और फॉरेन सर्विस में हो के कोई ज़्यादा डिफिकल्टी नहीं होती इफ़ योर पार्टनर इज़ इन अनदर सर्विस प्राइमरीली बिकॉज देर आर मैनी आप आपका पार्टनर लीव्स ले सकता है आपका पार्टनर स्टडी लीव्स पे जा सकता है आपके साथ 
So if you're posted somewhere, for instance, um, New York, then your husband can just, you know, apply to a university around that vicinity and get a scholarship and then apply there. Uh, thank you so much, Ali Uh So you can apply there and study together. Uh, I can forego some postings and continue to stay in Ofa over here and work here. Um, or we can take some postings together. He can take a long leave. I can take a leave. So there are many different ways of uh, meeting each other halfway. So, um, and these are difficulties which honestly any uh, any couple faces as long as both of them are in the service. And I think in life, there is no you know, perfect nahi hoti koi cheez wo is tarah nahi hoti ke acha ab bas aapki lottery nikal aayi and everything is going to be perfect there are hardships and there are difficulties with every decision that you take every step of the way in life and that is just part of life and you have to meet it head on you don't just give up and you know give the exam again or whatever acha um i'm just waiting for um more questions to come how to start an uh, an answer to a question like punching line um I wish there was an answer to that. I don't. I don't really have an answer to that. I don't think it's me. Kya me kya sakto ki kya punching line honi chahiye. But try not to be very vague and generic. Try not to start with quotations or facts and statistics. Um, people are asking ki what are some tips for the interview. Honestly, please don't do what academies are saying ki is tarah khade ho ke baithna hai aur is tarah chalna hai, is tarah kapde pehnne hai, ye karna wo karna. Just be yourself. Um, a lot of the questions that they asked me, I replied with asking them more questions. Okay, acha, theek hai. If you, you know, in your opinion, this is the situation in Afghanistan, then what more can Pakistan do? What more do you expect Pakistan should have done? So I met especially Habibullah Khattak, who was um, um, very argumentative and very blunt in our uh, interviews, generally in my batch. Mein. So a lot of the things that he said, I didn't just say that, uh, Sir, Dawn, me, ye likha hota, and just started, you know, randomly quoting facts and figures. I gave every answer based on my personal opinion. And if there are things that I didn't agree with with the uh, with the interviewer or the panel, there are things which in which my opinion differed. There are things in which I simply didn't have the requisite information. I was very blunt and honest about it. They asked me about sectarian issues that are faced by people in Sindh, and why is it so? And I said that. I I've so I was born in Karachi so uh, I might have been born in Karachi but I've spent a very few amount of my years in Karachi so I can either give you a bookish answer which any candidate would be able to do based on Google and based on news reports but if you're asking me for a personal in-depth answer then I'm sorry I can't give it to you because you can either ask me a question related to Islamabad which is my city and where I've grown up in but for me to sit here and comment on the ethnic rivalries taking place in Sindh outside of um, Dawn or outside of newspaper outside of the common narrative then um, I'm, I'm not the right candidate for that so I gave very blunt very honest answers and aapne is is um is uh, thought ke saath exa uh, us hall ke andar jana interview dene ke liye ke css sab kuch nahi hai duniya mein this is not it this is not everything there is much 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 more to life than just the exam and just this career or any career for that matter to agar ye din ye nahi bhi hota aap fail ho bhi jate to so what on to something bigger and better right to aur meri family mein koi bureaucrat hai hi nahi koi dur dur se bureaucrat nahi hai to isliye mujhe honestly मेरी फैमिली में इतने सी एस एस का ना हाइप है ना था ना कभी होगा बिकॉज आई कम फ्रॉम अ मिलिट्री फैमिली एवरीबडी ऑलमोस्ट एवरीबडी इज इन द मिलिट्री इन माई फैमिली तो इसलिए ब्यूरोक्रैट्स के इतना कोई हाइप नहीं है मेरी फैमिली में तो मुझे इतना वो नहीं था कि ओ माई गॉड मैं फेल कर जाऊंगी तो पता नहीं क्या हो जाएगा एंड सी एस एस रह जाएगा मुझे तो इतना वो हाइप नहीं था पर हैप्स दैट हेल्प मी अ लॉट बिकॉज दैट मैं दैट आई वॉज वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट एंड आई वॉज माई सेल्फ एंड आई रियली डेंट लेट द पैनल गेट टू मी आई रियली डेंट लेट द बिग डील ऑफ द यू नो जस्ट क्या लफ्ज होगा जस्ट आई डेंट आई डेंट अलाउ माई सेल्फ टू गेट ओवर वेल बाय द ग्रेविटी और द नॉर्मेटी ऑफ द सिचुएशन सो रोहा इज से पीपल से फर्स्ट फ्यू लाइन ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एस एस शुड बी वेरी कैची what if i don't have any catchy stories examples for that is absolutely fine try to give a, try to write something about the importance of the topic the currency of the topic how it's increasingly been debated and discussed and then launch into why it's being debated and discussed and automatically a smooth flow ban jayegi be like academia think time policy circles mein topic bahut current hai bahut debated hai hotly contested hai there are myriad of different arguments for this topic and against this topic some of which are blah 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 or you can give a little background information maybe one to two sentences that's it um 
about the topic about how if it's about an event or if something that's happening in in pakistan or in the world why is it happening how is it happening um or the importance of something education ke upar hai humanize ke upar hai to how it's increasingly becoming important in our lives um be it whether you are from the developed world or developing world is tarah karke koi generics agar aap um, wo de de um starting there so i think i i feel like that is more than enough the more you overthink the starting sentence the more nervous you will be and the more chances are or yeah, the higher the chances are that you might actually end up writing something that isn't very outstanding so my philosophy always is don't fret about it it'll come naturally to you but try to um devote the first one or two sentences or the three first three sentences of your introduction to um to essentially discussing um ek second just give me one second <sighs> yes to essentially discussing um the importance of a topic the, um the reason that the topic exists um and just ask yourself why is the examiner mentioning this topic today why is the examiner holding this topic of such importance that it's been discussed uh, that it's been mentioned uh, that has come uh, in the css exam this year and just write your own two cents about it that's pretty much it uh in which department you are currently working now i'm at the foreign service academy how important are examples and statistics and essays examples are very important every single argument that you give statistics you don't have to include i myself am not good at that so i didn't include any statistic whatsoever but every argument that you make needs to be substantiated or supported with an example you cannot give any argument without substantiating it with something that you have read in a book um that some theory some event that's happened in the world something to show that you are you know you have some knowledgeable basis of what you are saying because you can't just make an argument the examiner is interested in what for instance arif or fawad or roha have to say the examiner is interested in what arif fawad or roha have learned somewhere and read somewhere and how they are able to weave it into the answers here and make it make ensure that it is of relevance that is what the examiner is looking at you were telling why did you choose social media as a, so it's a descriptive topic tha easy topic tha straight forward topic tha uh, i initially started uh, writing an outline on um, literacy pata nahi barren life kuch busyness barren life pata nahi kuch is tarah tha busyness be where the life the the barrenness of a busy life is not a good topic naam tha i thought that'll be very interesting but i when i started um making the outline for it the rough outline for it i realized kis mein ek ya do arguments se zyada mai zyada arguments iske bare mein nahi likh sakungi and ideally you should be writing at least 6 to 7 arguments to support your stance or the main view point which is essentially the heart or the crux of the entire essay so i realized rough outline banate hue ki i won't be able to do justice to this topic so let's just play it safe uh, there's a lot hanging on the line with this attempt there's a lot of mehnat and effort that's gone in it's just not worth the risk let's just play it safe because remember aapne apne compulsory subjects mein sirf pass karna hota hai aapne apne optional subjects mein score high karna hota hai if you know so that your uh, allocation inshallah is supported and it's um, your allocation on the merit list is of a high number lekin um आपने ऑप्शनल कंपल्सरी सब्जेक्ट इस मोटिव से नहीं देना कि अच्छा मैंने एस में 40 नहीं लेना मैंने 70 लेना है नो प्ले इट सेफ एम फॉर अ 40 इन दी एस ए बिकॉज द चांसेस आर ऑफ गेटिंग अ 40 आर वेरी लो अनफॉर्चुनेटली बिकॉज ऑफ द इंक्रीज कंपटीशन फॉर द सी एस एस सो ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन जस्ट क्लियरिंग द कंपल्सरी सब्जेक्ट्स एंड ऑप्शन में आप फिर बाकी सब्जेक्ट बाकी जो मार्क्स हैं वो उठा सकते हैं environmental science or gender honestly th- these are uh, ob- subjects are not something that you should ask somebody about because i don't know you and i don't know your capabilities and your academic background um so you should choose your subject yourself and i never recommend somebody to take a subject on the basis of ki ji um ये स्कोरिंग है ये नहीं है बिकॉज आप kabhi predict nahi kar sakte ki next year kaun sa subject mark khayega ya kaun sa subject nahi mark khayega koi subject mark kha bhi lete aur aap wo lete hain lekin agar aap usme aapki इंटरेस्ट है और आपके बैकग्राउंड है और आपको वो समझ आ रहा है तो आपको वो फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा वेदर वो मार्क आ रहे या नहीं सो नेवर टेक सब्जेक्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस ट्रेंड्स नेवर टेक बेसिस नेवर अडॉप्ट सब्जेक्ट और टेक अ सब्जेक्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ वट एवरीबडी एल्स इज टेलिंग यू टू डू डू इट बाई गोइंग थ्रू द सिलेबस एंड बाई गोइंग थ्रू द पास पेपर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स पे रूज देम गेट कम्फर्टेबल विद दैम अंडरस्टैंड 
whether or not you'll be able to do it whether or not these are jab aap ek syllabus dekhte hain aur past paper dekhte hain unme se agar ek bhi koi aisa topic hai ek bhi koi sawal hai jo aapko lagta hai aap pade bagair bhi common sense se apni personal personal knowledge se de sakte hain then go for that subject because the chances are that when that subject comes when the paper comes there will be uh, there will be questions which you have not prepared but you need to be able to have some brief background knowledge kuch thodi si foundation in that subject to be able to make things up on the go on that day तो अगर कोई बिल्कुल ही फॉरेन सब्जेक्ट है फॉर मी अगर ये होता फॉर इंस्टेंस पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ठीक है या बिजनेस स्टडीज जो इसके बारे में मैंने कभी भी नहीं पढ़ा हुआ लेकिन जो फॉर इंस्टेंस ट्रेंडिंग है जो जो स्कोरिंग है उस साल या उ, उ, उन कुछ साल आई वुड स्टिल नॉट गो फॉर इट एवर बिकॉज दीज आर थिंग्स जो ये ऐसा सब्जेक्ट है जो मैं रट भी लूँ लेकिन उस दिन अगर कोई ऐसा उस पर क्वेश्चन है जिसके बारे में मुझे अलिफ बे नहीं पता तो आई वोट भी एबल टू लाइक कॉन्जर्स थिंग्स अप आउट ऑफ थिन एयर ऑन दैट डे so it's very important ki aapki kya familiarity level and you can only gauge that if you go over the the past papers and the syllabus look at it topic wise and it's perfectly fine agar pehle ek do baar aapko kuch samajh aaye ki oh my god ye kya ho raha hai mujh mein sab bhi yahi hua tha maine park affairs aur current affairs ke past papers dekhe the aur mere to jaan nikal gayi thi ki i will not be able to do the css this is not for me i can't do it this is too difficult ye cpec kya hota hai how do i go about it what is this ye kya hai एंड आई रिमेम्बर मेरी छोटी बहन हु मस्ट बिन इट लाइक क्लास फाइव और सिक्स शी बेचारी बॉट मी हर सोशल स्टडीज की कॉपी एंड शोर मी कच्चा देखे सी एस सी पे के मैंने ये नोट्स बनाए हुए हैं ये है ये है काम ना इट्स ओके एंड आई आई बॉर्डर हर इस्लाम याद बुक एंड सो आई स्टार्टेड ऑफ ऑल्सो फ्रॉम अ कम्प्लीटली फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट आई वॉज कम्प्लीटली ब्लैंक एंड कम्प्लीटली स्केयर एंड ओवर वर्म के हाउ इज इट इवन ह्यूमनली पॉसिबल टू बी एबल टू कवर दीज सब्जेक्ट्स एंड द आइडिया इज दैट यू नॉट सपोज टू यू नॉट सपोज टू कवर ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स एंड इन द सेंस यू नॉट सपोज टू कवर एवरी सिंगल टॉपिक और एवरी सिंगल पॉइंट इन ईच सिलेबस फॉर एवरी सब्जेक्ट यू जो सपोज यू नॉट सपोज टू बी कहते ना वो होता है सेइंग है कि बी अ जैक ऑफ ऑल बट मास्टर ऑफ नॉन दैट इज असेंशली वो सी एस 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 थोड़ा थोड़ा मोटा मोटा आपको हर चीज के बारे में पता हो इन डेप्थ किसी चीज के जाने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि उस वक्त आपके पास आधा घंटा होता है बीस मिनट पर बीस मार्क्स पर क्वेश्चन होते हैं यू डोंट इवन हैव दैट मच टाइम टू बी एबल टू राइट एन एंटायर पी एच डी थीसिस ऑन ईच टॉपिक सो प्लीज डोंट स्पेंड लाइक डेज ऑन टू और थ्री टॉपिक्स ट्राई टू कवर एटलीस्ट सिक्स टू सेवन टॉपिक्स पर डे or at least 5 to 6 topics per day and uh, make like 4 to 5 pages worth of notes per topic not more than that someone is saying that you're making the css sound so easy honestly speaking it isn't as difficult as people make it out to be the, what really matters is how you perform on the day of the exam उस दिन वो मेक अ ब्रेक होता है अगर आपने इस सारी गेम नर्व्स की होती है सारी गेम कॉन्फिडेंस की होती है विल पावर की होती है यू गो इन विद द आई विद द with the understanding that this is not it you will not your life will not end if you don't clear it itni koi big deal nahi hai css so trust me you will perform much better go in with a lot of confidence in yourself go in with a lot of um self confidence and you will perform much better than somebody who has a lot of knowledge but is all over the place and is just a complete wreck and i had personal friends with me giving their time jinke sath exactly yahi hua tha exam hall andar jaane se pehle bhi jaldi jaldi rat rahe kitabein dekh rahe unke unki marks mere se kam the even though maine aisa kuch nahi kiya tha kyun kyunki they didn't have the confidence in themselves so when the paper came they panicked and jo baatein aati bhi thi wo bhi wo bhul gayi and they were fixating on such small things like headings kis tarah catchy karni hai kis tarah catchy karna hai that they lost the entire bigger picture which is ke aap as long as aap you know what your writing makes sense as long as you are quoting not quoting but citing a lot of examples ya different sources of knowledge in your answers as long as your writing is neat and as long as you as long as you're relevant so if you, if they've asked you about fatf then instead of spending like 10 or 20 minutes outlining the history of pakistan with fatf and the uh, and how fatf is composed and kitne members and kaise hai to those that is not what the question is asking you for get to the point get to the main point don't waste your time giving the history of for instance the kashmir issue or indus water treaty ki sari kya points hai because everybody knows that you have rata file and you are just showing to the examiner that you are good at rata but you're not good at understanding what the examiner is actually asking you to write about and your critical analysis is weak essentially 
why FSP? Well, I've already answered that. Because why FSP? It's my passion. Um, for me, it was FSP or nothing. I honestly, if I would have gotten into any other service, I wouldn't have joined the civil service because for me, it was FSP or nothing. It's my own personal interest. Mujhe, I feel like I can perform better. Meri jo um, this tarike se terbiyat hui hai, jo meri personality hai, jo meri likes and dislikes hai, and they're much more suited for a service like FSP uh, as opposed to others. Uh, how can we write our reference sources in the end of the answer sort of mentioning within body? You're not supposed to write your reference sources in the end of the answer. You're supposed to mention it within the body. So this isn't like a like research paper that you will give a bibliography or work cited. Thing. You're supposed to weave in um, citations within, within the answer itself. Best writer for expression? I don't know. I, didn't, I haven't ever looked at um, writers for expression. I just write naturally i guess and i think everybody should uh shans if i share your css interview experience i already just i've already done that and the do's and don'ts of the interview i'll be pairing at the interview with the panel in march this year okay best of luck mariam um my best wishes to you i've already mentioned uh this extensively abhi i maybe you join late in which i said that just be yourself please don't focus too much on kis tarah baithna hai kis tarah uthna hai haath kaun sa raise karna hai eye contact karna hai nahi karna just be completely natural jis tarah main abhi aap logon se baat kar rahi hu exactly maine usi tarah baat ki thi exam wale din yahi insaan thi main yahi si tarah maine baat ki thi i was um i was just very confident but not over confident because you don't want to come across as cocky or arrogant theek hai or rude for that matter you should understand the, how enormous of an opportunity that it is that you've been given and you should be grateful for that uh, and you should you should be grateful to them for you know i don't know they probably don't have a role in your selection up till the point of the interview interview ke baad the panel ka role aata hai but nonetheless give them the impression that you are very grateful to them and um you know you want to serve your country but then you should be very sure about why is it that you have um why is it that you have chosen a particular group and your answers should be very convincing i know some people who didn't score well in the interview primarily because your basic question tha ki why civil service or why dmg or police or whatever to uska wo sahi tarike se jawab nahi de paye the aur pata chal gaya tha examiner uh, सॉरी पैनल को कि इनके आंसर्स या इनका रीज़न यही है कि पावर शशके बत्तियाँ गाड़ियाँ ग्रीन नंबर प्लेट फ्ला 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 पैसा ये बेसिकली वही जेनेरिक रीजंस हैं एंड इंट्रेंसिकली इनमें वो मोटिवेशन नहीं है टू जॉइन द सर्विस फॉर द रीजंस व्हाई पीपल शुड जॉइन द सर्विस तो दीज आर यू शुड रियली बी अवेयर ऑफ वाई इज इट दैट यू हैव चोजन दिस लाइफ एंड वाई इज इट दैट यू वांट टू बी अ सिविल सर्वेंट एंड वाई यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन अ पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप एंड हाउ एवरी थिंग यू हैव डन इन योर लाइफ हैज लिटरली बिन लीडिंग यू टूवर्ड्स दिस वन पॉइंट इन लाइफ एंड यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट एंड शुड बी एबल टू कम्युनिकेट इट um and if you don't know an answer to any question feel free to let them know ki mujhe iska answer nahi pata getting wrong answers makes no difference whatsoever it's perfectly fine you can say um i don't know yeah you can excuse yourself from answers that you don't know about yeah if you feel like a question is something that you shouldn't know about like you're not supposed to know about this primarily because um this, this i was asked about i already told about sectarian strife again ethnic strife in sindh and i'm not from sim so i said that i can either give you generic answers from the books which i have ratified as any candidate would have who is you know reading don aajkal but if you want a very candid answer a very personal answer then i i won't be able to offer you that because i'm not from say i i was born in karachi but that doesn't mean that my domicile is from sindh or i i come from a sindhi family so i i don't think i'm the best person to be able to answer that and then they asked me about afghanistan and i they said what more should we do and i said what more should we do i mean why do you even expect us to do more we've already gone above and beyond and i think we've already done more than our capacity and the onus now lies on the afghan populace to um you know lend a hand and i i think we need to stop asking this question ki what more should we do we've done enough um so is tarah ke jawab aap honest kism ke aap de sakte hain you don't have to you know uh, answer in the way that everybody else is answering and be fake essentially just be yourself is my biggest tip um i think that uh, this i think we should wrap up today's session primarily because um this was very interesting and um it's it, it was i said last answer is it essential to make an outline for every question what about no it's not essential to make an outline for every question uh this is something i learned myself because jinhone outline banayi thi jinhone nahi banayi thi unke saaron ke marks ek jaise hi the to outline se koi itna fark nahi padta 
uh, I didn't take IR, so I can't answer about IR. Can we do PhD during the service after completion of the training? Yes, you can. Uh, political science books are not covered in any post. I've gone through all of them. Please. Achha, but then I'll check political science wali books. Ke mein. But I didn't use books. Itna. I used internet. I use online sources. Honestly, for everything. Aajkal internet ke zamane, everything is available online. You don't even have to look at books. You don't have to go through books. Jo generic kism ki hoti hai, jo honestly Wikipedia se copy pasted hoti hai. So I thought, or plus, mujhe tha ki books to sabke paas hongi. So my answers need to be unique. My answers need to be different. Uh, so they should be from um, from online or material sources, um, and essentially online sources. Mm. I don't know what ma'am required for pass means. Uh, position of thesis statement kya matla position of thesis statement needs to be in the outline needs to be the start of the outline uh, before you write your introduction uh, the heading of the introduction anyway I'm gonna wrap up today's session it was thank you so much Ali Zulkarnan um, Jazakallah um, I'm gonna wrap up today's session it was extremely um, interesting to interact with all of you um, I'm going to keep these I'm going to make them um, a regular feature on the page because it's actually very fun to interact with all of you it's refreshing and um, I'm going to next time I'll tell you more advanced I'll tell you when I'm live so that you can ask more questions and more questions and more people can join but thank you so much for everybody who asked questions and everybody who participated it was a pleasure to talk to all of you and um, I'm just glad to see that such kind and nice people are aspiring to give the exam and hopefully will become future uh, civil servants of Pakistan. We need people who have the, you know, on the very basic level, who have the tamiz of talking and who know what to say when and who are empathetic, conscientious human beings. And it seems like that you people are. And I'm just really glad that such people are attempting to give the civil service. It's an absolutely... Um, brilliant uh, service to be part of irrespective of whichever group you are in and um, exam around the corner you everybody who clears the exam doesn't have any special edge or anything extraordinary in them they are just human beings who perhaps got lucky who perhaps just got lucky in the sense that us din jo questions aaye wo unko aate the kisi aur din koi aur questions aate to wo na kar pate who jo us din apna confidence nahi lose kiya jo us din koi unki dua kabool ho gayi hogi koi unki maa ki dua kabool ho gayi hogi to just just have faith in allah and have faith in yourself i just know that you know kuch saal pehle main bhi aapki position mein thi where i was just dying to find any and jitni bhi information mujhe mil sakti about css as humanly possible and i just felt like koi koi sincerely koi jawab deta hi nahi hai koi css ke aise ke bare mein koi batata hi nahi hai so and I I'm, I am trying my level best to be able to not fall in the same category as other people. Jinse mein khud frustrate hoti thi. So I am trying to give back as much as is humanly possible, as much as time allows, essentially. But um, thank you so much everybody who participated, who came online, or I have all charts and um, stay blessed. Best of luck for your uh, attempt. And yes, as Asma, I will definitely do more sessions. I will definitely do more sessions and I will keep interacting with your people and I'll let you know perhaps a day in advance so that you can, you know, make uh, adjustments accordingly in your schedule. And I hope that today's session was informative for you all. And I hope that kuch aap log, if nothing else, to at least key takeaway because CSS is not that difficult and you have it in you, you can do it in you. Do not let anyone else tell you otherwise. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a nice day. Allah Hafiz.